Thank you for visiting this video segment for Dr. Afib. I'm Dr. Morales. In today's video segment, we're going to be discussing what is an electrophysiologist and why should a patient who has AFib go see an electrophysiologist? This is a question that I got on social media recently and I decided to make a video about it. First, let's talk about what is an electrophysiologist. An electrophysiologist is a type of cardiologist. I, I am actually an electrophysiologist as well. So an electrophysiologist first did several years of general cardiology training and then did two extra years of what's called electrophysiology training. And in electrophysiology training, we become, we become trained and become specialized at heart rhythm issues, meaning heart rates that go too slow, too fast, irregular, uh, and especially rhythm disorders like atrial fibrillation. Uh, we don't really specialize too much in other types of heart disease like heart attacks, for example. But an electrophysiologist deals particularly with rhythm problems and especially atrial fibrillation. And so we are the experts for, for atrial fibrillation and can certainly provide people much more treatment options, whether that be medications or even procedures for managing an atrial fibrillation. So when should a patient go and see an electrophysiologist? Now, there are less common or less number of electrophysiologists out there compared to just a general cardiologist. So not everybody may have access to see an electrophysiologist readily. However, I've talked several times on previous videos that AFib is a progressive condition. The more people get AFib, the more the heart inherently changes. You know, the heart actually changes on a deep cellular molecular level the more people have AFib. And the more of these changes that happen, the harder it is for any procedure to be successful, the harder it is that any management or medications will work to give patients a really good success in management of their atrial fibrillation. So when should a patient go see an electrophysiologist? As soon as possible. Um, it may be sound subserving and for me to say, yes, you should go see an electrophysiologist as soon as possible. However, I look at it the other way. I've actually had many patients who come and see me who have had AFib for a year, two years, and their disease has clearly progressed. And they, I meet these patients and I think, gosh, I wish I would have met you a year or two ago. Because a year or two ago, I may have had better options for you. I may have had higher success rate in treatment options. And this kind of goes back to you know people who think that certain treatments for AFib don't work or procedures don't work or you need to have procedures done more than one time. And that goes back to how much the heart changes there, there in AFib. Now, I'm not saying that when you get one episode of AFib after your first episode, you need to go see an electrophysiologist or you need to go do a procedure right away. Uh, there's certainly a, uh, you know, some discretion involved there, but earlier stages of AFib, meaning when it hasn't progressed too much or you haven't progressed to where you're in AFib all the time, those people have the higher spectrum for success rate, whether that be with medications or with procedures called ablations, which I'll be talking about in another uh, video segment. But earlier you get seen by electrophysiologists, the more options you'll have in terms of treatment for your atrial fibrillation. Thank you for visiting this video segment for Dr. AFib. I'll see you next time.